Well, hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Foundation. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because I'm certainly excited to be back. Things are going pretty well here in Nerdsboro. Last time, we got ourselves a market. We got ourselves a bunch of houses rebuilt. We got ourselves a church, which I do think looks absolutely fantastic. What else have we got? What else have we got? We got a bunch of gathering huts. We got another market over here. We've started making our own tools. We have a lot of territory. Our soldiers are away doing things. There's so much going on. And I'm really excited to see uh, to see what we managed to do here. Let's give the clergy some, uh, some fish there. The clergy, by the way, really liking me. Really, really liking me. I have no idea how to get citizens right here, though. This is currently... This is currently what's crippling me. Um, I guess unlock that because I can. But I I have no idea how to uh, how to get all of this. I don't know how we get actual citizens. So I guess there's a possibility you can't in the game yet. Although actually, in saying that, I mentioned last time about how if we get clothes, we can start upgrading our houses again. So maybe that. Maybe that's what we need to do. Either way, let's start prioritizing the construction of another windmill because our farms are, well, they're pretty full. They are pretty full. We need to start making more flour. Then we need to start making more bread. So we may very well need another bakery at some point here. We'll certainly see. Uh, we also, last time, designed our new Lord's Manor, which I'm going to be honest, it just doesn't look good. It just doesn't. I don't like that the roof on these is sort of rotated weirdly. I realize those are probably designed as like just a one-off thing in a building, but because the buildings don't stick together in nice ways, it just... It just looks weird, unfortunately, and it just feels like there's not a lot I can do there. But we aren't actually going to be building that until this set of trees here gets cleared out. So it's going to take a little while to actually do that. Uh, but we have got the extraction area there. We've got three people working on it. So hopefully, although it's going to take a while, hopefully it's not that long to get it done. I'm also thinking we probably need a warehouse out here for these guys, but a warehouse just for berries? I, I don't know if I want to do that. I think we're kind of getting to the point with expansion where these guys, they're going to just have to come back in on the roads. They're just going to have to do it. They're just going to, you know, have to come back in through the trees or do whatever to get the berries back to, uh, back to town. This here doesn't even have people working at it. There we go. We'll get three people working there so we can get more berries. And we're not even storing berries near here anymore. So that's, that's definitely a problem. Uh, let's see. We are getting wool nearby. Yeah, these guys are going to have to go a bit of a distance to store their berries as well. There's a lot of berries. There's a lot of things that we need to store. So, hopefully, hopefully we don't throw a bit of a spanner in the works here. We did just get another free territory, though, so don't mind if I do. We could get more berries again. But I think what I'll do instead is grab... You know, I think I'm going to grab this one. Just so we have this entire beachfront here. Obviously, we could start building up on these cliffs, but I just kind of want this entire beachfront. I think that's quite nice. So, yeah, that'll work. We can put a nice wall around the Lord's Manor, eventually build another, another keep out here. There's a lot of things that I have planned for that area. Now, let's see. Happiness at the minute. We have a lot of people lacking food, actually. Now, that's a worry. I don't think bread would be the bottleneck. I can't imagine fish being the bottleneck. Let me see here. We have a lot of fish. Not a lot of bread, not a lot of berries, but a lot of fish. You guys have fish to sell here? You actually sort of don't. Interesting. And you've sold no fish this week at all. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a worry. We do have a lot of fish. So why it's not being sold is kind of beyond me. Either way, can we get two new millers in here, please? Immigration's in a day. There it is. Okay. We'll get two new millers when the new people get here. I'm actually really concerned about the lack of... Uh, the lack of food. 32 people lacking food. 
I'm not really sure why that is. 31 people lacking food. Did one of them buy a fish? No. I'm assuming they just have so far to go. And I guess most, I guess if the fish is being stored nearby, most of it's probably going to go to this market. Yeah, there's 30 in there. So I'm wondering if maybe we should get a market up or a, a warehouse up there that stores... Oh, you know what we could maybe do with another transporter for the fish? Is that our primary storage for fish? No, it isn't. Okay, that's that's interesting. That's definitely interesting. I think another transporter might be necessary anyway, so... Once the new person gets here, we can go ahead and assign them. Any second. I, th I don't know if that's them there. I don't know where they are, honestly. Where's these two? Are they on the path still? No? Okay, tell you what. Let's just close these for a second and reopen it. And boom. There we go. Female number 132. Alright, so hopefully that will help things get moved along a little bit. 20 people lacking food. That's better. Happiness is climbing. I really hope this doesn't... I hope this doesn't spell disaster. I think what I might do is let the number of people get up to 130 and then just turn off immigration for a while. Both because we'll need to build more churches, but also because I kind of want to stabilize what's going on here. I definitely think we want to stabilize it. I think we want more bread. We want more berries. We want more fish. We want to make sure people are eating. Because, I mean, yeah, we've cut the number in half here, but 16 people still lacking food? That's still a lot of people lacking food. And I guess I, I'm, I'm sort of wondering if maybe part of that is because they have to go and collect it? It might be. Maybe the market people have to go collect it from the warehouse. Maybe the warehouse people don't bring it to the markets, which I guess would make sense. So this, yeah, this market being so far away... It's probably the problem. Okay, tell you what. Let's add a warehouse. And what we can do is throw the warehouse just here. And this warehouse can be berries, fish, bread, and I guess flour as well. Since we do have a windmill right there. Which I must say, that view, pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Just close that real quick. And I think I'm going to close my quests list because I can't imagine I'm going to get too many more quests anytime soon. So hopefully that fixes it. I'm really, really hoping that fixes it. Uh, let me go ahead and prioritize the construction of the new warehouse. You guys are planting more. You've got 83 wheat. You've got 100 still. Yeah, we need to start getting through that. I wonder if there's maybe a bottleneck in the bread making process as well. Either way, we'll figure it out. All right. We'll figure it out. So it's kind of interesting seeing the way the numbers are fluctuating here. We're going between like 80 happiness and about 65 happiness quite regularly because of this food situation. Now, I have gone ahead and filled up all, the, all of the gathering huts with gatherers and we actually have a warehouse nearby here this one that can hold berries and fish and bread and uh flour as well <laughs> don't know why i couldn't remember the word flour uh, i've also gone ahead and started construction on a bunch of new fishing huts as well in the hopes that we can get people working on those i do think i need to open up immigration again though so we'll do that but hopefully we can get people fishing to bring in a bit more in the way of food not that I think we need more fish. We have plenty of it. We actually have a decent number of berries as well. But hopefully we can do something here. I've also started construction on another bakery here. So the idea being that we can hopefully make even more bread here. At least I'm, I'm really, really hopeful that we can. Uh, we do have room to get another territory as well. Don't think I'm going to bother with that just yet. Don't think there's any point in uh, getting another territory just yet. But I will prioritize this so that we can get it done as quickly as possible. Which looks like it'll be in just a couple of seconds. But this, I really hope, just gives us that little bit of extra bread as well. So let's get a baker in there and get it straight to work. Uh, the fishing huts are 
largely done as well, which is great news. We can actually have a look at the workplace list and see, you know, we're missing a baker, we're miss missing some, some fishermen. Um, that's fine. We're actually missing a weaver as well. Uh, but we can go in, we can add to all of those places in just a little bit. Uh, no, we're going to be keeping all the food there. I don't care if the crown happens to want some bread. The crown can wait. Now, let's see. We're not actually struggling here at all, which is nice. This is, this is good news. We're not struggling in the slightest when it comes to these resources. Uh, I imagine we're probably not going to be struggling when it comes to fish either, considering we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fishing huts. So I think berry... Oh, sorry, berries. Yeah. No, I think the berries we're getting from our fishing huts are going to be, like, totally good there, but... No, I think the fish we're going to be getting will be absolutely no problem. So let's see. Fisherman, fisherman. Nope, not yet. Two new villagers again. All right. I swear we just, uh... I swear we just got to. I might be wrong, but I could have, could have swore we just got two new villagers. But whatever, that's, that's not a big deal. Can we, uh... Yeah, I guess we wait for two more to come in. That's all right. That's fine. I'm just really hoping we fix this problem. 19 people lacking food. Are they in here like you? So, so you are lacking food. So it is, it does look like it's people. Yeah, it's people up here. Now, apparently you don't even have, you need water and shelter. There's water nearby. This is nearby as well. Reserved at well, part one, no transporter. What? Can I, can I follow you? Let's just keep you as a woodcutter. I'm not really sure. So you're lacking food as well. So it is, it is everyone up here is kind of lacking food. Which is peculiar because, I mean, they have the bakery right here. They have, I guess they've just started getting berries as well. So yeah, now they're starting to get bread. Hopefully that cheers them up. Our happiness is, I mean, 11 people, that's the lot, 10 people. That's the lowest I've seen that in a while. So hopefully this does work out. Let's see. Can I get more fishermen? Apparently not. Uh, that's not the two new villagers either. I've no idea what the two new villagers have got to. There we go. So two more fishermen. No more baker right now, but that's fine. So two more fishermen. I think the next two that come in, we can add one as a fisherman and one as a baker as well. Then we fill up those jobs. And I really hope that solves the, the food problems. Nine people lacking. I really hope that doesn't climb again. What's full at the moment? So the stone cutters are full. The farms are full. I guess we could probably... We could probably tone down the stone cutting, honestly. We probably only need like two people doing that. So that right there will give me an extra baker and a fisherman. Because we're not, we, we have a lot of stone. We do, we have so much stone. So we really probably don't need, you know, everyone working in the stone cutter anymore. And I think given the resources we have, I think we're going to come out here and I think we are going to start construction on this because this actually, we have the materials for it. So, sure. Let's start the construction there, get the new Lord Manor done and just see what it looks like. I do want to put walls around it. We do have a nice little selection here. We have small stone walls, large stone walls. So we can put some nice, we can put some nice walls around it when it's done. And just hope for the best there, so. We'll let them head out and build that. It will probably take a bit. It is a bit of a distance away from everything, but that's fine. That's, that's not that big a deal. Also, a new house going up out here. I just noticed that people are actually building out here quite nicely. And along the road, too. Which is fantastic. This is, this is probably one of my favorite features about this. The fact that they do follow the roads when the road's available. That's why you might remember a few episodes ago, I was talking about building things out here specifically to get the road in the first place. That's because I wanted them to follow the road with the construction and, uh, well, it's not gone too well out here, I'll be honest, but they, they, they tried, right? They certainly tried. Oh, no one's hungry. Hey, there we go. Well, that's good news. 
Everyone's happy again. Fantastic. Just need to get them all up to... Oh, wow. That got built quickly. Just got to get them all up to... Uh, to Citizen at some point. No idea how we're going to do that, but I'm certainly going to need to try. I guess... I'm guessing clothes are probably the option. Ah, oh, do we try it? Do we try clothes? Do I dare? We have two people unemployed. We could get a tailor's workshop. Do we have cloth? We do. I think we try it. I, I think... You know what? I want to save my game before I do this. Because this could cause it all to fall apart. But I'm pretty sure the tailor's workshop is like the only thing we don't have. Well, the tailor's workshop's coming together. Willibald's coming over to start working on it. Not only that, I've got a new market going up over here. That's hopefully going to... Well, hopefully going to be where we sell most of the clothes. Speaking of which, probably going to want a new warehouse as well. And I'm thinking we will throw that just behind the new market. So throw it there. Prioritize the construction. And I'm thinking that's where I'm going to start storing things like cloth as well. So cloth and clothes can be stored in this market. Especially, or sorry, this warehouse. Especially since this is the only market where clothes are going to be getting sold. It does mean that the tailor needs to come all the way down the hill to... Actually, maybe... Maybe we should start selling, uh, storing cloth up here as well. Could I maybe swap something out of here? Maybe swap the... Let's see. People are getting hungry. I'll tell you what. Swap the berries out of the... No. Have we got any other warehouses up there? We really don't. Oh, boy. What about you? Let's swap the berries out of you and instead do cloth, I think. If we can. So we'll do that. Let's, uh, the tailor's workshop's good to go. Let's get a tailor working there. And let's see. So this is done. What do you sell? Clothes, that's fine. Alright, so people are going to want, they're going to start wanting clothes. They are going to start wanting clothes. So I think what we maybe try and do, what we might have to do here, is maybe get another tailor's workshop. Because people are going to start getting annoyed if they don't have clothes. I think. I guess we'll see. Either way, this right here is where the cloth can be stored. This warehouse down here is still needing a builder. But once it's done, that's where the clothes can go. So I, re I really, really hope this doesn't cripple me. I really, really do. Because it would suck. We are 10 people away from maxing out the religious sort of uh, capacity. So hopefully, hopefully good things are about to happen here. Uh, John, mate, are you going to actually finish building this? You are. Okay. Get the transporters. Do some common clothes. What else can we throw in there? I guess, let's just do clothes in general. Let's just do a bunch of clothes and, I don't know, wool, I guess. Might as well throw it down here. Bit of a distance like, but that's okay. I really hope this works. I really do. We actually have some clothes at the minute. So those are start going out. Those are going to start going out to people. I mean, they still need to be sold and all, but... Let's see, are you bringing clothes over to the warehouse? You are not. I don't know where you're going. Is anyone going to bring clothes to the warehouse? What are you doing? You're working on a transport mandate? Okay, what is this? You want berries? I'm going to say no. I'm definitely going to say no there. Anyone bringing clothes around? Or are we just going to hope for the best? You know what? I'm going to stop watching it, I think. Because I want to have a look down here and see how this is going. Actually going pretty well, honestly. Needs a bit more wood. A bit more in the way of tools. A little bit more stone. That's fine. Got two new villagers coming in as well. So everything's kind of working out. I'm just really nervous. A house is upgrading. Hey, there we go. Look at this. So this is an upgraded house. Oh, dude, we should see a few more of these upgrading then. 
So this is, there you go, there's another one. So this is what happens when we start getting clothes. Oh. Well, that's fantastic, okay. I really hope we can keep that up. We might need more sheep. We might actually need more sheep. I wonder, you know what, let me do that. Let me, um, let me see here, sheep farm. Let's throw a sheep farm out here. Is that, that's a little bit far away though. Um, we have got room up in the hill, I suppose. Yeah, let's throw a sheep farm up in the hill. I'm gonna throw a sheep farm. I know I said I was gonna put a fort up there, but I kind of want a sheep farm up there. So, we'll do another one. We'll do another sheep farm, just like there. Uh, let me see what this one's producing as well. So this one's producing, it's, it's all right. It's producing a good amount, but I want more. So another sheep farm seems like a good idea. We have an envoy here, that's fine. Let me uh, let me deal with you real quick. I'll deploy my troops, no problem. So we'll get the usual bunch heading out to do their thing. There we go. So they can go off and do their thing. That'll get us some money, not that we urgently need it. But that's all right. So the sheep farm's going up there. We might need another... Actually, we... Hold on. Do we need a weaver's hut? We do. We might need another weaver's hut. Now, the weaver's hut, if I remember, is here. Now, you're doing a pretty good job as well. We could actually get another weaver, too. So another weaver's hut could be useful. Because it... Well, it's actually quite close to the new farm, too. So that might actually be okay. Uh, we are storing wool in there already. We could probably get away with storing more wool in there. Actually, cloth. Probably. So that should work out. I'm hoping... Oh, citizen, there we go! Oh, fantastic! Alright, so we need a lot of splendor. We need more splendor over here for all of this stuff. So much more splendor for this. And this. Uh, and then here. Well, we've got all that. Yeah, we need a lot more splendor. I need I need a lot more splendor. We should probably start working on the new fort, honestly. Or the new keep, whatever it's called. Um, I guess we could technically do that. I kind of want this finished first. I do kind of want this finished first. Um, but whatever. Let's, let's see what we can do here. So, let's see. We want a... A wooden keep. We want the core for it. And I guess the core can sort of go... I guess the core could go back there. Or would it it'd be a little further forward, maybe. I think a little further forward would make sense for it. So right about there. Uh, the door can be... I really like that one. I don't think I, don't think I want that one. I think I want door B. So let's see, which of these is the most, that one's got the most splendor. So throw that on top. That's a bit weird looking, but okay. Uh, we can throw a decorative flag up there. The training dummy does nothing. The wooden gate is all right, I suppose. Got a new building unlocked. Three new buildings unlocked, hello? I'm not quite sure what I've done here. Okay. I'm excited to find out. Uh, let's see, so we could do that. We could do another core. Technically. Could technically do a bunch of these. Uh, if we really wanted to. Not that I particularly want to. This will add 4.5 splendor thus far. Not like I can add another door on here. So maybe just another keep and then we add like a third one somewhere later down the line. I guess that sort of works. A bit weird. I'll be honest. A bit weird of a thing to do, but... Aside from adding a second core to this, I'm not really sure what else we can do. So, sure, start construction on that. I'll put the walls around it eventually. Now, let's see. Another house is upgrading. What did we unlock? Stone bridge? Ooh. Okay, so we got like a fountain. That'll look nice in the key. We got a tree. Plant arch. Yeah, I guess. I guess that makes sense. Okay. Okay, I'm excited. This is actually working out, man. This is great. Another house upgrading. Okay, okay. This is looking like a proper little time down here. Oh, look at it, man. You get right down in here. It looks proper. I love it. Anything up here upgrading yet? Yeah, that one's upgraded. 
That one's... There we go. Look at this. Oh, I'm excited. It's starting to look like a proper little time. So my soldiers just got back. We just got another free territory, which is fantastic news. I think we'll go ahead and grab one. Uh, I don't know if I want anything out there. That's a little bit far away, but down here seems like a nice spot. So let's grab that one and that one as well, because apparently it's free. And now we've got a lot of land down here to play with, which, assuming we survive, will be beautiful to have. Because I reckon we could totally... And I might actually do this. I might have this little area here become like sheep farm. Uh, so warehouse, sheep farm, weaver's hut, tailor's hut. Like a proper little just combo right here for clothes. In fact, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We want a sheep farm and we want it like right, right there. So sheep farm, boom, right on the road. We are going to need a warehouse. We'll do that in a second. Uh, the weaver's hut can go like boom right on the road and the tailor's workshop um it could go there could very well go there but that seems like it would be inside of the grounds of the the watts its face the the fort so we're not going to do that we'll do it right about there so tailor's workshop can go right there on the road then the warehouse could maybe go behind them I think that could look kind of interesting. I know they're a little bit close to the sand, but that's fine. Uh, warehouse, I think, can go behind them. And I'm actually going to do just a little bit of playing here with this and say that I don't want anyone sort of going... I, I want them to go like this, right? I want them to go from the front there. So no going around them, none of that stuff. Like You have to go from the front of the buildings there to get to them during construction, and that will mean that the paths are like that as well. So I think that'll be pretty good. There's not really housing nearby, but that's probably okay. We'll make that work. There's housing over here, and we can probably put some housing around the fort when the fort is is done. So we'll see how that works out. The sheep farm up here is actually pretty close to being, to being finished, which is lovely. I'm definitely hoping that we can uh, get people working everywhere because we are two people away from sort of hitting that max there now let me see here we have enough citizens uh we have enough citizens we don't have the splendor though we don't have that splendor and we don't have the splendor there either we could get that religious splendor though that's actually quite easy because we do need another church and i suppose a bit more religious splendor gets us the monastery. It gets us something. It gets us something. And it gets us something. An apiary. Uh, so, maybe another church? I guess it wouldn't hurt. Could throw it way up on the hill. And I mean, like, way up on the hill if we really want. No. Well, they could get there. It'd be a pain, though. Uh, we could throw it way out there. On another hill. Again, super far away, but... Kind of, oh, look, I haven't looked at this. Look at this, dude. That looks so good. Oh, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm really loving this. Uh, could throw it up there, actually. Not very flat, though. Might look a bit weird. Tell you what, I think I am going to throw it out here. So, core, what was this one made out of? That one's red. Let's do this one in blue. So, this is going to be the blue one. Uh, so, the core of it goes right there. We can do the big tower right at the back. Which I guess goes like that, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, pretty much. I think it goes a little bit higher than that. So to there. I don't want them to be exactly identical, but we might as well have them be somewhat similar. And I think that's honestly it. I think we just put a door on it and then some crosses. So a cross goes up there and a cross goes up. Where did I just put that? Can I put that back, please? So it goes there. Uh, and then the whole thing just sort of goes there. And I think that'll look pretty good out there. Yeah, it's super far away from everything. And yeah, it's a bit weird looking. But I mean, it gives us the capacity. It gives us plenty of splendor. So start the construction. Absolutely start that construction. 100%. I probably don't want to prioritize it, though, because there are other things that are probably more important, like the the sheep farms and like the, you know, clothing people and all that kind of thing. We, we need to make sure people are clothed because that is something we have 20 people lacking clothes, 15 lacking food, 
Five lacking housing. Oh boy. Can I throw another well out here? Just to make sure that there's happiness. So throw a well there. And definitely prioritize that. Hopefully that adds a little bit of happiness. These guys have a well as well. Oh boy. I don't want this to fall apart. I'm really nervous. If you've seen my live stream, I, we did a live stream of this game where we went for clothes and within an hour it had fallen apart. Ladies and gentlemen, thus far it hasn't, but I'm nervous. That is going to do us for today, though. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. If you disliked it, dislike it and leave a comment telling me why. With that in mind, as always, it's been my pleasure. And as always, I'll see you next time. Buh bye bye